this is a late vlog. Um, 9 p.m. na po dito. And we're watching Footy. So it's Melbourne versus um, Geelong. So, we're just going to make a quick video of this game. So, we are now on... I will just finish the second term, quarter. So, we are on the third quarter. Okay, half time break and after that third quarter. Yeah, thank God. Yeah, look, I love that work around the footy. There's no question about that. It's really dominant early, but you know, the game's far from done. You know, we've got to work really hard. Make sure our strengths are on show around the pill and the way we defend. Well, the hearts of every D's fan around the country skipped a beat when Stephen May obviously came off the ground grabbing at that right hammy. Can you give us a little bit of an update there and what the diagnosis is? Yeah, look, he did some tests downstairs. He seems okay. He's a little bit tight, so we'll keep an eye on him, but hopefully he's all good. Thanks so much. So I don't know I have a COVID in there. Restriction. There's like 61,000 in that arena. Cats trailed secured by 31 points in round 22 and managed to fight their way back. Good signs late in that second term. Melbourne with three opportunities they didn't take. The Cats would still believe they're right in it. Yeah, they would. Important goals towards the end, as you said, Jase. But uh, they've just Pitraka. got to get their on the footing. And they've just got to start winning it in the back half so they can get their game going. That's the key for the Cats. So we are on good job, Melbourne. Woo. Can Melbourne re-establish that dominance? The most effective midfielders on the ground have all been in red and blue. Yeah, they have, and that's the part of the game that Geelong do need to fire up. And he'll get the first shot of goal in this third turn. Oh. Once Wait, again, Krista, an easy possession out of the middle of the ground, passing to Parker. Oliver just had a quick look, just, just pulled it across his body to put it to the advantage and at least gave Ben Brown a run and jump at it. That's one thing they've done really well today, he's put it to the advantage of Ben Brown. Knee surgery in February did Ben Brown, like three AFL games, spent some time in the VFL. Oh, this one is good, he's from Tasmania. Hasn't he come good at the right time for Melbourne? This Whee! got Bobby Hall early in the third term. <laughs> Crazy people. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am. It will be on YouTube. And oh, Langdon. You can see the difference there between winning the clearance at the back yeah, of the circle or the front of the circle. The ball ends up really on the wing, but if you give the opposition out the front, it ends up really on their full forward line. One to them with space. Duncan, the first man on the scene. Now Atkins. Yep. Hawkins with strength. Radigalia gets involved. Campbell over the top. Stopped by Salem. Tackled from the Sarva. Oliver. Bowie. The premium by the scruff of the neck leper and saying, no one's going to beat us tonight. Well, his last, his last couple of minutes has just have been unbelievable. Well, a lot of people panic yeah, when someone comes in. at them to tackle them, and he just welcomes it. He says, all right, good luck trying to tackle me. I'll get through you, I'll draw another one, and then I'll get somebody else out. He's just such a weapon around the clearances. Prodigious talent. Taking a pick two in 2014. We've been waiting seven years to see what he can do with his stage. And it's as expected. Oliver's been right there with him. McDonald turns, snaps from 40! Hey, how are you? Thank you so much. It's been crazy, Omar, that's why. Oh, oh, oh. 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 They go forward, the catch is now for the Lowry Denning. Tackling Tui, didn't know which way to go. Now Menegola, over the top, Holmes, hit by one, then the other. Salem, waits for Dangerfield, tackle is good. Harms, little handball spills wide, the Demons have got the numbers. Irrepressible at the moment as Brayshaw comes away with a bounce. And another. Drills it low down the line, beautiful delivery. And Ben Brown's hands tonight have been exceptional. And so is the touch on that kick. And Christian Petrarca could go back and kick this. The sort of form he's in right now, the sort of confidence he is riding high. And that 
that play starts with the pressure. Wasn't it? Just tackle, winning 50-50 balls in their back half and then use of the footy. Look at the camera, it's so big. So it can be done. Not with that kick. It might still work. McDonald, can he banana it? He don't know. It's okay. It's still alive for Melbourne. It's been that sort of quarter. Smith, Henderson, runs into Oliver. And we'll go no further. ACL to his career, 2009 and 2012. He's just been so solid. What a player he's turned into. Hear the tight roll that they play and throw some other rolls around. It gives them a different look. For the first time, the draw before the grand final. That's looking very nice for someone like Stephen May. Gives him a chance. About the last four and a bit quarters for the D's against the Cats. Been ridiculous that first half of round 23. Langdon waits a while, red best in the goal, but it's Lamets. Rivers is so happy to keep the ball moving. Sailor, a bounce around the option over the top, finding. It's Tim Lang. No. So casual, he's so confident towards Brown. Henry oh. desperate. Colin Chesney suddenly he's under pressure. Where to go? Why doesn't it? Well, a trick in sport. Have a look at this. Another one for the Demons. It's Max. What another one? He's got another one. Four goals. Four goals. That was quick. <laughs> Someone is going to Melbourne. Maybe. Kick right away. Awesome. Every part of it's gone their way. Ninety six. Snaps gone through the middle. Every tackle's hit. It's been a, a, a massive day. They're going crazy. From a Geelong perspective right now, it must be a hollow feeling. There's still heaps of time. Not saying they can get back into the game, but what do they do here, Wayne? They can't just roll over. That's a great thing. Well, i tell you what they're going to do, Jase. They've got to get their hands on the Guys, look at the 61,000 people. This is in West Australia. Lion, Neats, Robbie Flower, Captains, Max Gorn. Everything going Melbourne's way. I think I'll be pissed off at the other here. Run from behind is Rivers. I think Rivers. it will be pissed off. Drives it inside again. Not Max again. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He nailed it. Just to clean that up. The only Melbourne captains to kick four in a final. Ryan meets Wow. Now for five. And for four in the quarter from Max. That's the captain, guys. Wow. Oh, yeah. 16 minutes from the D's. Fifth goal, amazing! Holy shit! Talking about the captain's team, huh? The skipper. The leopard's one thing to have great players. Why it's so funny when he do goals or kick? It's so funny when he do kick or goals. It's just because he's so tall. It doesn't always happen in a in a playing group. They're amazing. A lot of all Australians. Look, 102. Wow. And then that's just in a group of three. Too big, too strong. Look at Gary Lowe. What's him? Away from the centre. Okay. Sterling three from Stoppy. Just Chris Scott is still 102. And it's still third quarter.
Wow. Five. The demons oh. just look unstoppable. Danger field. Yeah. Oh, jump it. Lever. And he's done for most of the year. Such a combination. May the big watch now. Jackson. Dangerfield went back. Neil Gordon to Viney. Viney. Little kick. Little weight off at Brown. Happy to bring it to ground. This is where the demons are so dangerous. Ground ball inside their Ford 50. Guthrie. Oh. Towards the boundary. Dangerfield. No one is there. Train. He looks like he's got some issues. Rowan. And Maxi tackles him. Go, Ranty. <laughs> It's his oh ow. Thanks, Abs. Has a danger field's intent been wonderful in this third term. He's tried to dig deep to stop this tidal wave. Needs some mates to go with him. Rivers Langdon. The D's playing expansive, confident, fun football. They're just enjoying themselves. Langdon goes through to 50. Again, that's it's like a now Petraka, what's going on? Like this, you know you're on top and like going your way. Oh, it's a fantastic feeling, not for that uh, Chris Scott, because it's Straight. the opposite for him. He's trying to work out what is going on right now. Every part of the game. Oh, it goes to Brown, Collar Jassy will get Oh, they're so close. Zap Gus around the pressure. To Blitz Arps. Now Guthrie. A switch to two, and we haven't seen a lot of it tonight. And that's simply because, Wayne, they haven't had uncontested possession in the back half. They haven't been able to switch. No, they haven't. They've had no control whatsoever. Defenders really haven't been able to get into the game at all. Myers to two, you kept on running. He turns it over, one of the best picks in the team. Oliver. Oliver's been everywhere. He, Petrarca and Gore. Uh, the third term they've played. Those third quarter numbers, just extraordinary. Petrarca's had eight, Gorn's had seven, and kicked four. Oliver's had six. So between them, they've had 21 possessions. Geelong have had 46 the entire team. Seven goals to zip in this third term, and we still have eight minutes to play. Langdon. Everything seemingly going in the way of Melbourne. And Melbourne have just taken Ooh. away the uncontested mark game. They've only had the 27. We know Geelong, they have 92 a game. And they've only had 27 nearing three-quarter time. It's just been amazing defensive effort. Sparrow this time. Deep ball. Guthrie needs to hold. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. The smallest player in their Ford 50. On that occasion, getting back on the spare defender in Guthrie and winning the ball in the air. Ah, oh, this is the amazing game they had. Clayton, so Such a healthy it. list. There's Adam Tomlinson, one of only three players on the list. Marty Hoare out, Nietzsche out, and Tomlinson out, watching on. Rats yeah. for his mates, but some sort of hollow feeling. He couldn't blame him. Kick inside 50. Atkins punched away. Bowie goes hunting it. And conversely, here's a kid playing his sixth game of footy. Over to Viney. Drives towards half forward. Off the hand of McDonald. Neil Bullen at the back. Handball missed Spargo. Goes back to clean it up himself. Henderson comes around and puts some pressure on. Drives it inside. Blitzarps comes out. Punches it away. Only as far as Salem. Wants to get onto his left. Stubs a little kick inside 50. Minigol will be first back. Good pressure for Rich. Forces the error. Oh my god. It's a three on two. And in the end, the numbers will win out for the Cats with Collar Jasney. Over the top, he goes to home. Stand! Stand! Seeing his picket puts it to a dangerous spot. The last time they were here in a prelim final, it couldn't have been any different. 110. Has been made. Stephen May moved to the back of the interchange bench. Yeah. And James Jordan just warming up and he'll get into the action. Thanks, Abs. Another missed kick there from Tui. Selwood off to Blitzarms. 
Heads to the wing over the head of Myers. Maybe because he... Myers almost. It's a free kick for my contact. It's hard to imagine whatever happens for the rest of the night and whatever happens tomorrow night if Melbourne don't go into the grand final favourites. <laughs> Oh, you think so? I mean, they, they finished on top Maybe of the ladder. Maybe because you put the poster. The other teams in the top four, so you, you'd have to think so. The only team in the comp. No, the I'm not Nega, so I thought it would be going bad side. Duncan punches it away from Sailor. No team in the 18 team competition has beaten all other 17 teams. Fremantle beat 16, they've beaten 16. They've done it each week. Collingwood's the only side they didn't defeat this year. This is our time. Close off the ruck contest. Floats it inside, 50 to the pocket. Hibbert was the inclusion this week. And Wayne, I know you love the way Michael Hibbert goes about his football. Yeah, it was wrapped. Obviously, you don't want to go at uh, Smith being in. That was cool. Oh, sorry, I missed it. That was amazing. The advantage will be lost. For the preliminary final, and you give the other team nothing. Oh, you just see in that back 50, we had four midfielders <laughs> back there. Even Cosy Pickett as a forward was all the way back in the defensive 50. So they're still working so hard. It's been a tough night for Gary Rowan in the hands of the doctors. Oliver, quick kick under pressure is picked off by Hughes. Melbourne's press, defensive press, as good as any in the competition, and we've seen it in all its glory tonight. It's not sexy, but it's effective. Duncan floats it to Hawkins. He's under pressure. Strikes Langdon almost. Ball spills to ground. Now Langdon's got and Hawkins has got him. Again, the little things. Geelong, in their history, have never conceded nine goals in a quarter in a final. They've conceded eight here. They've only given up runs of more than five goals twice this year. Round 23 to the Demons. And here to the Demons again. Close. Going nowhere. I think Wayne mentioned it earlier. You just haven't seen a team. Here we go. Pressure this Geelong defence into such error. No, no. There's their night. The fumble, and then Melbourne swooping on the football. Stanley to Guthrie. Two minutes now, left. Maybe something. No, again, Lever gets involved, trying to beat Myers one on one. Yep. <laughs> it's just a great sign, isn't it? 78 points up. Lever furious yeah. with himself. No, their endeavour certainly hasn't gone anywhere. They're playing this out to the end, the oh. Demons. That's how this they is started. embarrassing for them. Mm. It is. The cats oh, find something for their They're going to cut you, Logan. <laughs> Jordan. Salem. Uh, another mark. Yeah. Oh, no. The scoring has slowed for the Demons. Hard to believe where we've been talking about, but only six times in VFL, AFL history has there been a 100-point-plus final. 178 here. Over the top, what a kick from Rivers, no, too much in the end. We saw Max earlier just having a lie down, now Clary having a breather. Stephen May in the back row with a smile at least. This is exactly the game Melbourne want. They want Geelong to do this, then they want to do this. They'll just want to go back and forth, hit the ball back over the net, just making sure that 
Not too many crazy contests they had. They're in energy conservation mode now, aren't they? Absolutely. They're just resting, are they? Maybe stuck with that. Turns it over. Smith from long range from 55. Pins the ears back and goes for it. Oh, I miss it. He's down. Looks like he's going to converge. It's not often in a preliminary final you see the Mexican waves. Got the next good wave going. Yeah. Let's go to the next good wave. Yeah. A lot of nervous Melbourne fans. That was an overriding emotion tonight. No, he missed it, did he? So just the sheer relief. Oh, he got it. Ooh, he got it. Sit back and enjoy, really, the last Is that before, though? Miss behind. Okie dokie. What a great sight. A full house. Oh, look at this. Woo. I want to experience that one too. Look at that. Amazing. How lucky to be a Melbourne fan right now. Oh. Last six minutes of the qualifying Did you hear that? Does that make you or not? Are you happy? Always. Say Melbourne. Go Demon! Demon! <laughs> Demon! <laughs> Why say people? He's a lovely head of shit. Supporter is a kid now. He's doing great things. On the Six minutes stage. left. Fritch. Henderson. Fritch with the speed. Brown's there if he needs him. Couldn't take it cleanly. Pick it. Kick it! He's got it. Yes. Is he a goal? Woo! All the efforts and we turn him around and we give one. Footy Finals Fever has hit 9-11. Bacardi Mojito 4-pack 1999. Strong by Sire 6-pack. Go forward, ground level ball. This is just amazing. Look at the score. Look at the score. It's only five minutes left. It's so good. Yay! It's a win already. <laughs> it's a win already. <laughs> It's just so crazy. So he flips it out. Minigola in front of Mike Viney. The pressure still comes. Yeah, that's right. That's it ours. Comes. Thank you. Langdon. And our best players are on the bench. <laughs> Spreads it wide to Spargo. He has owned that far wing tonight. Ed Langdon has got it again. Right. Drives it to yeah. French. Oh! Another mark. Oh. What the He's an X Factor come grand final day. Coming into tonight, he kicked 12 in his last three games. Four in the qualifying final. This for a couple tonight. And he can be a really tricky matchup. Is it close? Yeah. yeah I'm not going to kick up from that distance. Oh, okay. Left and right. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Amazing! Let it go! Two more goals, but I've had the point lead. Really? They're the least stars had a part of their game, but they're all oh really like the best, aren't they, with the way they play? They've got really good teams in the field, they've got dynamic smalls. Oh got my god, we need to do field. more, so we can get... Terrific kick, great skills, so that part of the green is still a danger. We need two more, at least. Oh no, three. About as close as you get to a perfect night's football. There's more to come for Melbourne. Viney this time. Out of the middle he goes. Buse leaves picket behind, breaks a tackle or two to Guthrie to Atkins. And now to danger. Four minutes left. Four minutes and a uh, 40 seconds. Petty and McDonald who's been thrown back. Smith. Slippery ball. Myers Hawkins. Uh, Respect to Demons fans, and there's a sense they don't know what to think or feel. Their head knows their team, and their team style stacks up. Their hearts just don't want to get broken again. Jordan has it. 
defensive 50. And who knows, maybe being away from Melbourne might actually help the Ds. In a bubble in Perth. What the fuck are they talking about? Pick it. I'm dribbling cheap. I don't know what it's Bounces it to half really forward sports. over the head of Neil They're Bullen and tunnels. Henry. Neil Bullen sticks to the task. Litzars works with Henry. Off to Higgins. Atkins. Lunging effort from Pickett. For a two on one. Stanley grabs it. Dishes it off to the run of Guthrie. Ugly, awkward looking kick is picked off by Petty. Two minutes and 40. No panic down back when Stephen May went down. Petty slotted into the roll. Oh, what's going on? They're not watching. There's a Telstra track, a distance cover. Oh, we've been talking man. about making it or not. We spoke about him before the game. Look at Harry Petty. Yeah, Petty. <laughs> Henderson's the surprise out of uh, that group. Just Hello, Jason oh, yes. Taylor. Yes. <laughs> Viney is desperate as ever. Still a chance oh, the right. Demons here. Harms, does it settle for him? So tackle. Ooh, got bounced off. Oh. That was close. That'd be good. That man there. <laughs> Them do like this. Should, should be unbelievably <laughs> proud of what he's done. He's they just the chatting. He he's always <laughs> waiting for the time. When the fans and the members were saying he need to be harder. He held his nerve. So too did the club. Look where they are. They kicked 10 5 to 5 behinds in the second half as Guthrie. Stay. To Stanley. Stay. body position there from McDonald. It gives them the flexibility and the versatility to go back as required. Two minutes and a half. Stanley over the top of Rivers. And, and it's a good move. He spent plenty of time in his career. You keep as watching this video. Started. <laughs> yeah. Over and over and over. Yeah. I love to see Jackson at the back. Viney hunts another touch. Selwood. Blitzarps. Higgins. Dangerfield. Goes with the torque. Hits on the outside of the boot. Eric Kent. The last time two the minutes. Demons played in a great... And Ron. So and the, the rest of the two minutes right. is just... A legend. Yeah. Absolutely. In the Australian Football Hall of Fame. Some 89 points. Two to thought. Jackson. For the one to Viney Blitzarts. Sales out of bounds on the fall. Two minutes. A night to savor. A night to remember. A night to enjoy. Where's the champagne? When that song goes beat. It's a win. Higgins. Smith. It should open it now when it's back to Higgins. Delivers to the goal screen. Two on one. Cameron goes back. It's not going to be one minute their and a half. Win of the season. That was 98 points over the Gold Coast. But it's going to be their biggest win of the season. By some margin. Demons fans, supporters, members. They were worried about tonight. It was this ground in 2018 that ended their season. It was done at half time. What a response. How brilliant they've been. Players like Petty walking to many rooms around Melbourne and not be recognised as a gun AFL defender. He's recognised by every Melbourne supporter. Here he goes again against Stanley Radicalia. Stanley again, little one to Higgins, Brayshaw. One minute of the ball forward. Still wanting to win it, still wanting to defend. Oh, yeah. Starting get a little arrogant now, the sidesteps, the blocks. That's the sort of night that has been full of confidence, full of belief. <laughs> Silent. 40 seconds. Now to Jordan. They've been unstoppable tonight. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 
the team starved of success for so long. I think you need to go here now. Amazing! Amazing! They nailed it! You nailed it, guys! Oh, look at that, people! Oh my god! Where's Australia? This one? Jake Lever spoke about connection. The connection with each other is one thing, but they so overtly connect with the fans through all the messaging post game. They are just such a polished outfit. They mean it. They mean it will so make you sleep. To those watching at home. Tonight, especially that third third quarter when he kicked those four goals. The only tip of fight tonight was the to skipper of the footy team. Oh, you know, he, he played his heart skip. out. You know, it wasn't just his impact that on the scoreboard off the foot, his ruck work was strong, but you know, the thing that stood out for me was the, the chase down tackle with Gary Rowan in that third quarter. You know, I think that's the way we want to be seen as a footy club, a team that never gives up and continues to play the right way for as long in the game as possible. And, um, Max demonstrated that, as did all our leaders. So, um, you know, he was incredible. You know, he uh, impacted the game a lot of ways, and he he's a big character and a big figure in our footy club. Uh, to win by such a margin, like uh, to dominate the way he did, what does that do for everyone heading into a grand final? I think it reaffirms a lot of the belief that we've got in our in, in the way we play. Um, clearly, we base our game around our, our ability, and but I think you saw tonight there's a potency in the way we attack. Um, and we can hit the scoreboard. So um, I think tonight we, we build belief again. We understand we handled the moment well, and the moment was really about just being ourselves and um, making sure people saw who we were and be true to ourselves. And um, we were that tonight. Um, but, you know, we've, we've still got work to do. There's a, a really big challenge that's sitting right in front of us, and you now we want to make the most of it. We're going to close the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy our video. Yeah, all of our videos. Yay. Subscribe to and Don't forget about Dylan. Yeah. Subscribe to Just Me Ivy. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Logan. Bye. See you on the final. Oh, it yeah. is final. All right. Yeah. See you in the grand final. <laughs> See you in the grand, grand final. final. Yes. What about Dylan?
Dylan is busy in there. There you go. <laughs> Our Dylan. Bye, Dylan.